Warning, graphic pest control video ahead. Do not watch if you might be offended. If, however, you really like watching pest control videos, then hello again and welcome to the Squirrel Hunter channel. Please continue and watch us as we control pest populations with silenced air rifles here in the UK. If you have any questions, can you please check the description below first to see if it's already been answered and for some useful links. Thank you. When you shoot squirrels off feeders, it's the culmination of a lot of hard work. Making the feeder to sighting it and filling it up and keeping it filled. Which is what I'm here today to do, to pick your own farm. I've got my camera ready. I didn't bring my rifle, unfortunately. I spot this fella. He's got some of his little paws. I edge towards him in the vehicle. Get a bit closer to try and work out what it is. Quite clearly see. So we've corn the cob. I'm guessing it stole it out of the chicken pen somehow. Not sure if it got in there, whether it reached through. I don't know, but it doesn't seem to mind me, which is pretty much a shame. I'm thinking I might put a feeder on that post, I think. I have three feeders in this place. It's got a bit nervy now. It's disappeared off. I think this one might be one of the ones living in the farm shop. Anyway, off to the feeders we go. I've just spotted a couple of squirrels running up there, believe it or not. Right on the hedgerow. Rose feeder he normally shoots it down to the right. As soon as I turn the camera off, nice fat rabbit jump out. So we might end up putting the feeder up there as well. All these things you see, gotta take them into account. Good hundred yards or so away that. Doesn't seem to mind me. Anyway, up to the feeder. Stuff in the hopper, quite clearly you see. Levels drop right down. It's covered in eerie wigs. Now I've gone round it all, top the feeder back up, give it some nice peanut butter on my little plank. You see, they've obviously got a bit frustrated and had a good chew. So that means there must be plenty of them around. You hear the wind. Windy old hill this is. I found this on the floor. One of the sticks. Could be rabbit's mind. Some has been barking that. Yeah, down to bro's feeder. It's not really his feeder. It just shoots it more than me, that's all. And that one again, pretty empty. Which is quite handy. I've got some wheat to fill it up with. There it is, nice and full. When you have this type of intel, so you know the squirrels have been there. They've emptied your feeders. Once you've filled them back up, give it a day or so, and then get back on it yourself. There we have some more peanut butter on the edges. So I have a call to bro when I get home, tell him that we need to get out to this place and get after these squirrels. So we set a date to go on a joint mission together. Here's his Air Arms S410, 22 caliber, the Hawk scope on top. He's shooting Webley Power Pels, which is his favorite pellet in 22. I'm taking my Theoban Rapid, 0 0.20 caliber, with the MTC Viper on top, and launching my favorite Crossman Premiers. And for today's out in, I'll be using this sniper cam to do the scope cam footage. It's a day and night vision unit. I won't be using the IR because I won't need it today. It's quite handy in low lux conditions as well. Works very well, but not a lot of light. I need an IR cut filter on the front of the scope, but I haven't got one, so that's why the footage you'll see is a little bit too bright. Here we are. You can see by the date, it's the end of 2015. We got a bit excited and went a bit early. Still very dark. You can hear the wind, typically windy, at the top of this hill. Still nice and dark, but I've set the hide up. You can't quite make it out with the camera. I'm walking towards it now. It's in the darkness there, buried in the bush. Now I'm in it, I'm looking out. I'm just about make out the surroundings. Just hopefully they won't come too soon. Still need to see the crosshairs. That's 7.40. I'm ready to go. Taking a test shot. All geared up. And there the waiting begins. I normally have a cup of tea about this point. Got my phone on. On vibrate. Waiting for bro to contact me. Or me to contact bro. Mr Robin comes down to steal some peanut butter. Which is more than welcome to. 
You can see how much peanut butter has disappeared. I do believe from my records it's only been on there one day. It's nice to see some movement, whatever it is. I'm zooming in quite quickly now because I'm seeing the first squirrel of the day. This one's come straight in. Will he go to the plank? That's the question. Nope, ignores the peanut butter. It's going straight for the wheat. He sat looking straight at me. Excellent job, I think. I'm fidgeting around, picking up the gun, and getting it out of the hide. Being as you're looking straight at me, gotta be a bit careful. And a crossbow premier to the top of the head, it is. And drops to the ground, quick scan across it with the crosshairs. And that movement's quite common. See the link in the description. Ted's video on why this happens, if you're interested. Certainly not suffering. I've been there 13 minutes. I've got one on the deck already. I'm zooming in quickly here because there's a squirrel coming in from the right. I have to pan back to the right to see him. He slowed up immediately on seeing the one on the floor. Now he's become ultra cautious because of it. Seems to be blocking his way. He tiptoes round him. Maybe he thinks he's sleeping. I don't know. Almost like a thief in the night. Comes for a free feed. He sits virtually the same as the last one did. I've gone for the rifle now. I found him in the crosshairs. He follows his mate. Straight to the ground. Pellet through the top of the head into the brain. A little bit of helicopter tail from there. After when the legs kick, they have to be against the floor. Gives the impression they're leaping about. That's not the case. As you'll see at the end, I do the wound inspection. It's been hitting the head just right. No spasms soon cease. Looks like it's going to be a good day. And whilst I'm doing that, Bro's overlooking his feeder. He's got a squirrel coming in. He's getting his rifle ready. He's got a ledge on either side, this one. On with his scope cam. And hopefully he'll get some luck. It's more like it. Webby power pal hits it straight in the head. Same results as I had. So a bit of a thrash about. But the shot was good. That soon ends. Back up to me now. I spotted another squirrel coming in. This one's been even more cautious than the last one. I do usually like a squirrel on the ground. I like to think it takes their eye off of where I am. They're more interested in the dead ones. He's having a good old look. I see the wind pushing his tail to the right there. Where's he going now? Doesn't seem to want to walk past him. Looks like he's gone up over the backboard. I'm watching him now, getting the rifle up. Being ultra careful, didn't see me move. I tend to watch on the camcorder normally, but I've had to move it up. It's on the plank. It's more like it. Nope. It's going to be an awkward one, this. Very difficult to find them sometime in the scope cam. Didn't even want the stuff on the corner. If he faffs around too much, he might have to have it where he sits. That's more like it. 
Excellent. Straight on headshot. That's exactly what I wanted. I put the safety on, so I'm pretty sure he's going nowhere. Have to pan the camera down. There he is. There's a little bit of motion from the back legs. And it's all over. Squirrel three on the deck for me. It's only half past eight. Down to bro again. There's a squirrel. They live in that big hedgerow. It's very tall and very thick and full of ivy. I think there's quite a few drays up and down here. And they come across and raid the strawberries. But hopefully, bro does what he means to do. This one won't be doing any raiding of any strawberries this year. I'm just going to pick him up in a scope cam and get him to sit still. And that's Bro's ringtone, believe it or not. I just texted him to tell him I've shot a squirrel. I don't know why he doesn't stab it on vibrate, to be honest. Never mind. There is a squirrel there somewhere. And he will find it. So I'm going to go wander about. There it is. It's examining the one on the floor. If it sits up, you'll probably shoot it there. No. Nope. Showing every sign of coming towards the feeder. So we'll be patient. There is no rush. Don't know why anyone bothers to comment that we can shoot quicker. It's not exactly a queue of them, is there? Pace to take your time. Sometimes they'll play you up a bit. There is no prize for wounding. And it should be apparent to anyone watching this video this squirrel hasn't got a care in the world. He's having a mooch about. We pretty much think this is what they do for a lot of their days. Unless the weather's rubbish. And they make a beeline for the food. Just have a look at the one on the floor. It is dead. Now it's sat up on its back legs. Not sure if it's heard bros rustling. It's tempting. That would be a good headshot. When they're feeding, they tend to drop their head down. And you can see the back of that one's head. Keeping very still, that is. Very, very tempting. And the pheasant alarm call causes the squirrel to run. And I'm just texting, bro, if you look at the times, only a couple of minutes previous, I shot my squirrel. And then my text has caused his squirrel to sit and stare at him, presenting him with a perfect shot. Mine was 8.29, his is 8.33. Back to me again. And yes, Mr. Pheasant. All seems to make an entry at some point. I think this was still in season then, but we don't shoot these. We haven't got permission to. It's not in our remit. We only shoot what we're supposed to shoot. Quite happy to let Mr. Pheasant wander around. Nice splash of colour on a drab winter's day. I'm going to take advantage of some free feed in a minute. Like he might be eyeballing the dead squirrels. But he thinks better of it, and off he wanders over towards the hazelnut trees. That's a bit of a grub about over there. Maybe the wheat was a bit too dry for him, I don't know. But no worry, I'll have to sit and wait for some more squirrels. Which in the meantime, Bro's doing. There is a squirrel coming in from the left. Carefully pans the camera around. Here it comes. It's already run up and down the first post. For some reason it's done it to the second post as well. I think it might have seen the ones on the floor. It's the only reason I could think it shook its tail. We climbed up there for a better look. Looks like it's having another go. 
slowly makes its way in towards the feeder. Twitching all the way, but still moving closer every second. Lots of agitation. Still wants the food though. Sometimes tempted to take them on the posts. There is no rush. Make no apology for that. It's a windy day. You could do with a squirrel sat still. He'd shown every sign of wanting to come to the feeder. Even though he had a bit of a panic attack and run the other way. Bro's ready for him. And normally when they come this far, they eventually settle to feed. This one's had other ideas. It decides to wander off to the left at a camera shot. Bro's picked it up. He's tracking it with a scope cam. This is where teamwork comes in. I'm not long shot a squirrel. I'm about to text Bro about it. There's Bro's ringtone. This squirrel sat up to look what it was. Takes a pellet right on the side of the head. Nicely done there, bro. I didn't realise at the time I actually helped him out for the second time today. Back to me now. I spotted this one galloping in from the right. No messing about this one, he's going straight to the feeder. Barely gives the ones on the floor a look. Up the tree, down the tree. Will he go for the plank or will he go for the wheat? This is always the question which is going to faff about. He's changed his mind now, the ones on the floor are a bit more interesting. It's almost like he never noticed them to start with. Most unobservant squirrel you've ever likely to meet. It's having a good look anyway. When they stop and stare at you, you do wonder if they spotted you, whether the hide's moving a bit too much. Everything's moving today. Top of Windy Hill, it all seems to. Looks like he's going straight for the wheat. Nice little ledge. There we go. What more do you want? Just got to find him now. Wait for it. Shot to the head. Normally they come back into the crosshairs if you hold them still, but that one didn't. Quick correction, and a squirrel on the ground. A lot less messing about on that one. That's the way the cookie crumbles some days. Sometimes they mess about, sometimes they just come straight back in and feed. Quite happy with that shot, barely a movement. And that little cough sounds like the onset of man flu. I have to make sure and wrap myself up warm. The more than that taking hold could be serious. I haven't actually realised, I haven't turned my camera off here. Put it back into the normal position. I thought I've turned it off, but I haven't. I'm just faffing around inside the hide now, moving a few bits and pieces around, making a note in my diary. I haven't realised another squirrel's come up the bank. It's wandered around the tree. I didn't know that one was there. It's pure coincidence the camera was rolling. I'll look up in a minute and spot it. Have a panic attack. Zoom in on it. I need to have it run away again. Turn the camera on and off again. Plays hide and seek around the tree. Eventually it comes back. Several minutes have elapsed now. It's actually come to the feeder. It's got over the panic. The squirrel's been on the deck. This one goes straight to the top. More like it. Very irritating when they chew the feeder. Most annoying. It's having a good sniff about though. And while it's doing that, it's not paying attention to me moving the rifle around and getting ready. And unfortunately for this one, I've picked it up in the crosshairs of the MTC Viper. 
Let it sit still, present a shot. Lots of head movement, very quick. Much better to sit and wait until they sit and feed. Or at least freeze on alert. This one's having a good look at the ones on the floor. I should have guessed this one would be playing me up. No point in shooting if you can't get a good clean kill. Thought for a second it was going to go on the plank then. I'm just tracking it, waiting for opportunity. Move the crosshairs over now. Just to make it clearer what happens next. Let's come to the ground to have a sniff of the mother squirrels. I'll readjust the camera. Sit still down there. I should be shooting it like that. That'll do. Don't care where they sit as long as they sit still. It was a good shot. Despite those kicks. We'll see at the end. It's gone straight through the brain. I'm still tracking it now. Turn the record button off. I can still see it through the sniper cam. It's come to rest there. So doing alright this morning. Starting to take a tally of these squirrels. Not moving at all. I very often zoom in just to have a better look. Back to me again. Another squirrel's coming from the right. Coming thick and fast today by the look of it. Doing a bit better than bro. This one's come onto the back of the feeder. Despite the corpses, they generally do come to feed. Could be tempting. I don't like it when they're looking at me. Now he's looking around. I've picked the rifle up. Seems to be focused on something else. So that's the time I pick to move. That's why I do like a few dead squirrels on the floor. I tend to focus on them. Here we go. Definite plank user. That'll do. No mess in there. Straight on the top of the head. Muscles are spasmed. Them sharp little claws. I've gripped the plank. I've lifted my head up now from the scope. I'm looking over the top of him on the floor. Making a judgement call if I think the shot was good. Looks pretty good from where I'm sitting. Turn the sniper cam off. Happy with that one. Wind tends to get the birds on the go. You can see the clouds moving in. And they started chainsawing down in the hazelnut wood now. Doing some pruning. So I've turned the camera around. They're down the bank there somewhere. Over to the right. The owner knows I'm here. He's informed the workers. We have to fit our activities in around theirs. I've had enough for today. It all seems to have gone quiet. I'm going to look around my hide. Fresh spoil, rat sized hole. See the run under the bush there. Looks like the rats have dug in to this bank. Quite obvious, isn't it? Where well, they've been running. Dead giveaway, really. I can only assume they've dug in there because of my feeder. I'm not entirely sure what this one is. But looks well used. Looks about the right size for a rabbit hole. This one here looks a lot bigger. Look at that skull on the right hand side there. Possibly a fox. Who knows? I do find it quite interesting to look around the areas while shooting. See all sorts of evidence of animals living here. Definitely like some tracks up there. Have a closer look at this hole. 
Looks like a crow skull. Whatever that is. Not entirely sure. These tracks go right up into the bushes and around the trees. And they're so well worn and so big. I'm suspecting badgers. Even if those other holes weren't. There's some pretty big ones up here. You can see the track running right through the bushes. You follow them along. You find a great big hole in the ground. I'm guessing that's a badger set. And a quick look up. You can see where else they've been running. Looks like another one of their highways. And off down there. Quite a busy animal. All that wood is put there to make a permanent hide, believe it or not. We haven't got around to that yet. Another rat hole. Right across the front of the hide. Quite an obvious line in the ground. I'm guessing the rats are going over there and down that line. Have to keep an eye on that. There's me pop-up hide. And here's the hole for today. There's five squirrels. Drop pretty close. And here's the one that kicked down the bank. All good headshots. Let's have a quick look at this one. Right behind the eye. No doubt in that, despite the fact it had a bit of an attack and flipped around. It's another one. Just guessing there's a hole amongst that blood somewhere. Plenty of leaves stuck to it. That's an ear actually, not a leaf. There we go. Right into the top of the head. Another one right through the top of the head. I do like those shots. Let's look at the other three. Right behind the eye. At the top of the head shot. Pretty mushy. And the sixth and final one. Right in the top of the head, oddly enough. There we go. Six scrolls to me. The lovely rapid doing its job again. It's a close up view. Six more won't be troubling the farmer. A quick wander down to see Bro now. See all the chainsaw in action that's been going on. Pruning back the nut trees. Looks like they've been busy people today. Hence the noise. I've obviously gone for a break or something there. Go and pick Bro up. He's down there. That's his feeder. On the telegraph poles. He's cutched up in his pop-up hide right at the end of the rows where the strawberries are. Same distance as me. 15 yards. There he is, Elmer Fudd. Putting his hide away. Not sure if he's noticed me yet. I parked back here until I realised he was packing up. He might have had another squirrel on. I wouldn't want to disturb him. There we go. Let's have a look at what he's got. There's that one that kicked through the wires. There's two. There's the one that stopped because I texted him. Look at the first one he shot. Right over the top of the eye there. Or behind the eye even actually. Loads of blood. Nothing wrong with that shot, despite the fact it kicked around. Top of the edge shot. Very effective those are. Here's the one that sat up and looked at him when I text. Good shot, that bro. Three in the bag for bro. His Air Arms S410 with homemade scope cam adapter on the back. There they are again, another better shot. So that's nine for us today in total. And two rifles together. It's a quite a productive morning's work. The owner will be happy. have to come here again sometime. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share. Thank you.